Good afternoon everybody at St Mary's First School. It's great to see you again. It's unbelievable that a week has passed since our last assembly. Well, I'm delighted you're all here today. Uh, we've got a few little things and we have got some special guest teachers in there to cheer everybody up. So firstly, I'd like to start by saying a massive congratulations to everybody, particularly with your engagement and your remote learning. The teachers are so proud at how hard you've been working at home. So please keep this up. We are absolutely delighted, particularly considering how much snow we've had over the last week. And that can be quite tricky when we want to go outside and do lots of sledging, make snowmen, have snowball fights. So considering all of that, all that excitement, the fact that you've done so much work has been a massive plus, hasn't it, teachers? It has. Yeah, okay. So um, moving on, um, children, the teachers have been in regular contact with your mums and dads at home. And just so you know, if you are stuck, please tell your parents and they'll get in touch directly with the teachers and anyone who's stuck on anything particular that even when parents can't help, we will come back to you and try and help, okay? Just a couple of little notices as well this week. Could you please watch out for our weekly gospel? That's been done by Mrs Honeyset, and she talks over a weekly gospel story, which is almost like a book. Um, and it doesn't last long and it's really enjoyable. So please watch out for that on our website. Um, we also have our fantastic Friday stories, which have been read to you by your teachers. And I know a lot, they're very, very popular and we're, we're looking forward to those each week, so please watch out for them too. But overall, we, we just wanna say from our point of view in school, we are loving the fact that you are getting in touch with us on your blogs, and you're sending so many positive and happy stories. We wanna know what you're doing so we can celebrate that in school and share the information, and everyone will be happy together, okay? Mrs Oakes does pass on a message. I know she's here now, but I'll do this one on behalf of her. She has said, please keep up with the Vipers. You're doing great. And um, she'll continue to set the work along that line. Yes, Is that right? Yeah, Friday. okay, every Friday. And my, my, my special sort of mention for this week is obviously, you know, being fit and being healthy is a combination of a number of things. So first of all, we need to make sure that we have plenty of exercise, whether it's walking the dog, uh, going for a walk with a parent, going for a run, or just doing basic level, levels of exercise. But at the same time, you're able to talk about how you feel. And this week, I'm delighted, and Mrs Oakes uh, has put quite a lot of things on our website under our wellbeing. Um, and you'll find this book, and this book's called Coronavirus by a famous illustrated author called Axel Schaufler. And you can read this with your parents, so your parents can read this to you. It's a lovely book. And it's a nice story, and it talks about the virus that we're, 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 we are all sort of experiencing at the moment. And it's a, got a really happy ending. And it talks about the team effort and the team approach that we're having to, to combat the virus, okay? And that'll make you feel really, really good. So please look out for that book, okay? So I've got some stars of the week. I know you're excited, so here they are. Um, I don't know if you wanna do a reception, Mrs. Bed, but our well, reception when I hear, rather than me read it off the wall, but. So our reception star of the week is Charlie this week for fantastic enthusiasm with his home learning. Well done, Charlie. Yeah. Our year one winner this week is Spencer for working so hard in all le in lessons. You have been an absolute legend. So well done, you, Spencer. Okay. In year two, we our winner is Harry B. Harry B, you you've done lots of work with your geography challenge. I was amazed when I looked at your work online, and I could see how much effort you'd put into that uh, that work around Africa, and the oceans, the rivers, the, the how you've written with your best hand, right? And information about Nairobi and Kenya. So well done to you. Um, Mr. Thompson, I'm sure won't mind me um, saying a big congratulations to George for the high standard of home learning, learning that you've done this week. So well done to you. Thank you. Mrs Oakes. Oh, and over to me. This is with year four, so key stage two. Last week we're doing Kenning poems. And that's a form of poetry which uses two words combined to describe or refer to a person or a thing. So I'm gonna pick one from our star of the week, which was Will A in B's class. Can you tell what this is? A sand crawler, a plant eater, a toe nipper, a rock pool liver, a sea water, a side scurrier. I bet the last one gave it away. That's right, it's a crab. Fabulous and fantastic handwriting. Well done, Will. Okay, well crab. done, Will. That is really, really good. So um, keep all that work up and uh, we'll, we'll enjoy sort of presenting stars the week, each week. Now, we have had a few competitions going and you know, boys and girls, in the, last, in the last week we have had the snowman competition 
and we've had last week's Bake Off Challenge. Now, Mrs. Bed's come down today from her classroom to announce the winners. And if you'd like to look on the floor, boys and girls, you'll see how many winners and entrants, sorry, entrants we've had for, our, for the snowman competition. Some absolutely brilliant ones. And I'm delighted that um, the judging has been done by Mr. Ross for that. And Miss Baird, the winner is... So congratulations to everybody involved. But a big congratulation goes to Ava in year three because you're the winner of our snowman competition. And your voucher will be in the post. Well and there we go. There's, there's Ava with her brilliant snowman. Okay, and I think we need a drum roll, roll for the, the Bake Off um, yeah. winner. So over there, you'll see the Bake Off entries. We've got some fantastic ones. Miss Baird. So again, congratulations to everybody involved, but our winner is another child from year three, and that is George. So fantastic, well done, George. <laughs> and I particularly love the fact there's lots of different types of biscuits on that one, Miss Baird. I know, they look delicious. Delicious. Okay, it's birthday time, boys and girls. Now, last week we had quite a few, so I'm delighted we've got Mr. Rose here this week to do something special. That's right. It was quite a mouthful for us last week. I think I had about ten, which I had to say. But, Nathan, it's your special day today, so if you could all sing along at home, I know we're going to sing here. Your happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nathan. Happy birthday to you. to that um, Mr. Rosie and thank you for all the comments about the quality of the singing from last week's assembly we do appreciate that um, one last challenge for all the boys and girls at home to know about for next week in case you haven't heard already the Bake Off challenge for next week and these must be in by Monday tea time please and we'll put them all on Facebook is to design and make a pizza that's right a pizza now that's not easy but it sounds like a lot of fun okay the more colour on the pizza the better you could make your pizza look like your teacher, or it could be just a, a tasty pizza. It could be vegetarian, or it could have lots of meat on it. It's entirely up to you. So we'll look forward to those entries. Um, this week's winners, by the way, your Amazon vouchers will be in the post to you. So well done to the snowman and this week's Bake Off. We'll get them to you as soon as possible. Apart from that, that's the end of our assembly, and we hope to see you soon. So stay safe and God bless from all of us here. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>